Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to run through the process of importing a video into uh, Pop Video. We're going to do some chroma keying and uh, give us a transparent MOV. And then we're going to export that MOV into Adobe After Effects as well as I'm going to be showing you some uh, Final Cut Pro uh, for you Mac users out there. So let's get started first of all in Pop Video by uh, importing our file. So this uh, AVI right here is the one we're going to be importing with a soccer player. And once that imports, you can see we can play back. We can get this awesome looking kick and the guy just falls down. So we're just going to go over to Chroma Key first of all. And I'm going to choose the mask color here, the picker tool. And that will pick the background there. And now we have the background all Chroma Keyed out. And if I click and drag on the timeline, you can see the Chroma Key is already pretty good. Although around the shin area there, he has a little bit of uh, issue. So we'll use the edge restoration to bring that up. And then we can... Uh, that keyframe is created in the timeline there. You want to bring that to the beginning so it goes to the duration of the project. And now we pay attention to his calf. There's still a little bit of transparency issue right there. You can see it's still going through his uh, leg a little bit. So let's go up to edit uh, background options. Choose custom. And uh, we can choose a background color here. There you go. Uh, let's choose something like this uh, blue. That looks Fine. Right, let's go to green. There we go. Uh, it looks fine and dandy. And then we'll go ahead and you can see now that the green is kind of uh, appearing through the shin there. And what we want to do is we want to use the matte black uh, in combination with the mask blur. And uh, spill threshold is also one we want to focus on as well. And you can see when we use spill threshold, we get a lot of uh, a better result on that shin. So we no longer see the green, uh, the green tinge going through um, the uh, character's shin there. Um, and we'll take that uh, one keyframe back down to the beginning there again. So spill threshold is kind of what saved us in this case. And now we have a uh, clean, uh, clean chroma key. So let's go to export now and we'll go to uh, MOV. Because we want to export this as a uh, transparent video uh, with an alpha channel. So MOV is the uh, uh, export format that we want to choose. And we'll just choose uh, 1920 by 1080p. Uh, looks fine to me. And we have the option to export the alpha video only, but we're not going to do that. We're going to export uh, both videos. And you can also, of course, choose the export speed. So if I wanted him to be doing the soccer kick in slow motion, uh, we could do that as well. You can and just enter in a value here if you want, like 30% of the original value. And uh, capture display. You can see the uh, current one we have. If we select capture display, it'll change it to our green screen. And we can you know, choose a uh, chessboard there if we want and export. And let's just go ahead and export it as soccer. Save that. And it'll be exporting as a full frame uncompressed codec. And just press OK. So let's load up After Effects. And let's bring in this uh, transparent soccer video. We'll click and drag it right into our library here, our project library. And then we have soccer.mov. We can bring it to create a uh, new composition there. And let's go back, and we're going to import in another video, the background, the stadium uh, focus, uh, cool looking background here. So let's take that down to our uh, little uh, render queue there, our little uh, composition rather. And then if we play back, we can see this cool looking soccer kick over top of the uh, fans in the background, the uh, fancy looking stadiums with all the flashes and everything going off. Very, very dramatic looking. So we can just go ahead and preview that and... Uh, Get a good look in super slow motion. All right, and here we get the uh, real-time preview after we've uh, buffered all that stuff. There you go. And it falls on his head. All right, so that's about it. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is just going into Premiere. And in Premiere, you know, we can just take that uh, soccer.mov, open it up. And load in the same uh, other video as well here. And I should have soccer.mov. And click and drag that to the video one track. And we want to keep existing settings uh, at this point. And so we have that soccer.mov. And let's make sure that we uh, bring that up to the video two because we want the stadium focus to be in the background. All right, so we can layer the videos on top of each other in uh, Premiere just like this as well. 
which is fine. Then we can uh, change the size of that uh, stadium uh, clip to correspond with the length of the soccer player doing his bicycle kick right here. And there you go, there's our end result, which looks pretty cool as he dives into the ground at the end. All right, so here's uh, here's uh, Final Cut Pro. We're gonna be using Final Cut Pro now. And so all we wanna do right here is import in those same two videos. Um, just like I showed you in Premiere, you can click and drag from the Explore window, you can import in uh, Final Cut Pro. And all we really need to do, take that one video, the soccer player video, and take the stadium focus video, change the length to correspond again with the length of the soccer kick. And we, we uh, exported it at 30% speed, so we get the super slow motion, ultra dramatic soccer bicycle kick, and then a dive into the grass. All right, so it looks pretty cool, and that's really all there is to it. I mean, exporting everything from pop video, again, we just chroma keyed this soccer player's video, exported it uh, as a separate alpha layer MOV, and then just imported it over a simple background. You can do that in uh, After Effects, Premiere, or Final Cut that we just showed you. So that's what it for this tutorial, guys. Just wanted to show you some simple examples of uh, how you could incorporate a transparent video that you create in Pop Video into After Effects, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, whatever you use. And that's about all for this episode or this tutorial. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com. And I'll catch you next time.